A part inside the printer has failed, and the manufacturer sends Marcos to technical support. El meu tècnic ha fa un diagnòstic, un diagnòstic previ, però aquest diagnòstic ja són 15 euros més iva. Segurament serà difícil encontrar les peces per a poder reparar-la. Realment reparar-la no li surt molt a compte. Que reparar-la parlem d'uns 110, 120 euros. Tenes impressores des de 39 euros. Jo t'aconsellaria que que miressis impressores noves. Així que sens dubte jo em compraria una nova, eh? It's no coincidence that all three shopkeepers suggest buying a new printer. If he agrees, Marcos will become yet another victim of planned obsolescence, the secret mechanism at the heart of our consumer society. Our role in life seems to be just to consume things with credit, to borrow money, to buy things we don't need. Nous vivons dans une société dominée par une économie de croissance dont la logique est non pas croître pour satisfaire les besoins, mais croître pour croître. So if the consumer does not purchase, you know, the economy is not going to grow. Planned obsolescence. The desire on the part of a consumer to own something a little newer, a little sooner than is necessary. This film will reveal how planned obsolescence has defined our lives ever since the 1920s, when manufacturers started shortening the lives of products to increase consumer demand. Also hat man sich gedacht, dann beschränken wir einfach die Lebensdauer auf 1000 Stunden. We will find out how designers and engineers were made to adopt new values and objectives. Was back to the drawing board and come out with something that was more fragile. They time those things. They time them. So when you finally paid for them, they're used up. A new generation of consumers has started challenging manufacturers. Is it possible to imagine a viable economy without planned obsolescence, without its impact on the environment? Posterity will never forgive us. Posterity will suddenly find out about the throwaway lifestyles of people in the advanced countries.